Hello everybody, it's Captain Thief, May 8th, Daily Dungeon, what is it? Ick Swamp, Elf Fighter. Ick Swamp should be a normal dungeon, I think. I also like how it's saying it, I'm reenacting it, even though I've never actually played this before. Hey, what's up, Chrono Tripper? That's uh, my best friend in real life, just so you know. Uh, now I'm getting hit by everybody all at once, that's awesome. Um, yeah, okay. Alright, so, he just told me good luck with the derp. Good luck. Good luck indeed. I mean, X Swamp shouldn't be that hard, right? Um, Naga Empire, I, I kind of remember playing it. it. It shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. So, let's see. Um, I, I like Glowing Guardian, but I do not like prepping him. It just feels like you lose all your piety game when you do that. So, no. I think I'll go for the long game and go for a Dragon Shield. Resistances are nice, and I'm still picking about these, because... Mistara is actually pretty good, too. 20% more attack, though, permanently, and I don't have to carry anything to do it. Give it to me now. And I'm a thief. I'm going to steal something from a, from a shop. Black market's okay, but this this is pretty much a shortcut to riches. Let, let's, let's face it. Ick Swamp, here we go. Elf Fighter. May 8th. Derp. Alright, so... Sometimes... Sometimes the challenge is in the... Oh, this place is completely covered in plants. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set off the sign now. That way, you know, it doesn't hurt that much. It doesn't hurt me that much. Well, frankly, you know, I, I did lose a whole bunch of health. Maybe I should have been exploring upstairs because I haven't uncovered any enemies yet. Oh, and I'm going to fight vampires in the dark. <coughs> Something I am not a very huge fan of. Uh... And I'm used to never attacking plants because of, uh, what's her name? Earth Mother, but, you know, it's totally a thing you can do, especially when they're, they don't curse her, or when they, well, some of them poison, some of them mana burn, some of them kill you outright. But, you know, otherwise this is just fine. I'm not able to take you on, Mr. Ghost. Not yet. Let's see if we can't find maybe another level 2 somewhere. A Venom Dagger? Oh, well, that's tempting tempting as it may be. Especially if I can somehow find, I don't know, Burnderaz or something. So, oh. These are the plants, some of the plants I hate the most because, you know, all these mana burns and curses, I can get rid of that. Corrode? That stays with you. That stays with you forever. Uh, jeez. Okay, so this one, as usual, is one of those ones where it's mostly a rough start. Mostly. Unless I really feel like, I don't know, fighting my way through other plants to find out what else I can get. So, you know, it couldn't hurt to just, just outright kill the vampire. He gave two EXP. That's good. That's good. If I can find another little one. That's in this wall. In this wall might just save me here. The fine sword. I'm sorry. It's always a fine purchase. And if I find some expensive guys, I can just steal with the translocation seal. You know this. Let's, uh, bust our way through places. A level one here, really? That's not funny, game. It's not funny. Um, tell you what. I think I'll break this one and try to go over here. And this wall really opened up the level for me, though. Gotta admit. Gotta admit that. Doesn't make fighting magic attackers any easier, hint, hint, but... If I'd get in there, that would totally work. Oh, that would totally work. Or if I could slow him or something. But that's not the case at all, is it? Um, I'm still art I'm already full of magic, so before we uncover more, let's go ahead and break something that I think will be important for me to get around, and then head this way. Yes, I can kill him because I have one stack of death protection. That's just what fighters get when they start out. Fine, you convinced me. People who aren't even talking into the game. Um, more breakage. More breakage, please. All right. Uh right here. I'm probably grabbing more magic than I need to just because I'm being all perfectionist about it. And I'm leaving behind a lot of popcorn. I don't want to get I don't want to get cursed. Now with my 65%. What's this? I was kind of hoping the spider web was hiding something. Shows what I know. And yes, there's a, there's a wisp gem on the ground. It's fine. I didn't tell it to do anything. It, it can stay there if it wants. Okay, so 
Something that may help if you're a fighter is to pay attention to where the little icons appear as soon as you level up. Because that'll tell you where even level enemies are. That's one of the fighter's perks. Fighter perks. Well, hate to do it, but you know, I need to get by. Hey, it's Tarog. Ta to the Rog. Ta Rog. I might just go Ta Rog, actually, because he's pretty good if you're killing magic and, uh,. Well, he's just good all around. I don't like the fact that this vampire took my health, so I just did that to his face. Well, let's open up this way, and then we'll keep on exploring. Pin of health. Nice, but not nice enough. Ah, level 3. Okay, finally. Now, if I can get more physical resist... Where did this 38% come from? This is supposed to give me... Oh, okay, yeah. 20 plus 18. Okay, for a minute there, I thought Dragon Shield was supposed to give 15. I apologize. Um, let's see if this puts me in two-hit territory of the Gorgon. Where, where did she go? There she is. Yep, okay, I can totally do that. And I will totally do that, but let's first, I don't know, break another wall somewhere. Because I felt like it. Yeah. Pretty faulty reasoning if you asked anybody, but you know, it's my reasoning, so there. Now this guy's a lot harder, two levels higher is not usually something you do. Usually. Unless you're good enough. Killing a Nog in one hit is fantastic. That means I don't have to deal with the weakening blow. Killing that Naga in two hits? No, I'm gonna get weakening blown. No thanks. Man, just so many walls, guys. I wish I had Ben Lore, actually. And that's why I'm not going with Tarog just yet. I'm casting a whole bunch. I'm casting up a storm. And that would kind of rightly peeve him off like no tomorrow. Level 3, looking for level 4. Oh, well. Not that level 4. <laughs> let me let me let me consider this. Um I'm going to go this way. That'll work. That will work. And since I'm going to level and get all my magic back, um, it's not imperative that I do this, but, you know, I'm just driven. And if I grabbed one more square, she'd get 23 HP, and she'd be right outside of my killing ability, so let's not do that. All right, level four. He looks a little easier now. A little easier. Is there any walls I can break that I need to... Well, let's break this one. And I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I can build up my physical resist a whole bunch for that very first hit. That's kind of been my strategy so far. Let's grab. Oh, hey, a glyph. I you have something Frank want. Don't worry, Frank. Good at prime open skull. Yes, yes. We've heard it all before, Frank the zombie. I feel sick is a very nice glyph. My only problem with it is you can't use it against undead. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. But we can use against warlocks and stuff. I mean, they're not undead. So maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, let's 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 give it a go. Oh, hey, the two bosses are right next to each other. Excellent. I, I guess. Not a fan of this guy because he's going to take a lot of hits, and your base damage is going to go to pot really quick. The good news though is that he doesn't hit very hard. Not very hard at all. Let's grab one square. So let's see. I think what I'll do is I will poison him. That's eight whole tiles. In a way, I did 40 damage to his face by casting that. Not too bad. So we'll do that, and you know what? Let's venom him again. We're going to regen fight his face. If we can find enough uh, darkness readily available. Okay, how you doing? Still poisoned? Good. I'm not going to, you know, poison him again. I just burned his face, but... Um, I don't have the burn, so that's not something I can do. Um, I guess I'm going to have to destroy this to get by. Six tiles left. Uh, I have more magic than I have sense, so let's go ahead and break a wall or two. Not that it's going to help against the fight with him, but, you know, hey, let's, let's do it anyway and see what happens. Ah, oh, found Earth Mother. That's nervous-inducing. There. I win. Okay. Let's break some more wall. 
pointless wall. Okay. I kind of want to get by here, but I th I'm thinking that the route is going to be this way. <clears throat> okay, so we're level four. I don't know. Maybe take on another level, another level five like him. It feels like that's the only thing I can do at the moment. So we'll do that. And also I don't want to get cursed if I can help it. So I tell you what I'll do. I'll come over here. Still eight eight whole tiles seven whole tiles. I can count. Just breaking my way through here and break this. And he's got one tile left. Is there one tile? Just one? No? I can take a hit from him though, so let's just go ahead and do that. I don't even need to double cast the I feel sick, guys. I'm doing just fine here. Ah, sidestep. I love sidestep. Goes good on cereal. Um There. Took the one square from his face. And then we just go ahead and cast this because I want to have it. And there we go. Okay, cool. I have my death protection back, guys. It's beautiful. I'm reunited and it feels so good. Okay, if I really want to, I could just kill level 1 and level up and beat through with it. But before we do that, let's look at somebody who we want to level up catapult on. I mean, I'll be level 5, maybe this level 7? No, he's... He's kind of a jerk. Also, if I'm poisoning, let's, uh, let's poison. Okay. Yeah, I think I will do that to this guy. Um, and as much sense as it makes to, uh, I don't know, use my death protection now, let's not. I'll use it when I'm good and ready. Thank you very much. And don't attack the Gorgon. She'll strike first because she's a jerk. All right. This guy's still poisoned the heck and back, which is good news for me. And then we'll just region fight him a whole bunch. Um, pardon me, you're in the way. Pardon me, you're in the way. Okay. And then we'll just, I don't know, keep keep hitting him. That, that seems like a strategy to me. I, I can break walls. Let's go ahead and break a wall. Also, I should probably hold on to enough magic just to use I feel sick in an emergency, huh? Huh? That sounds like an idea. Even though my Venom Dagger is doing excellent work right now. Uh, probably the most pointless wall I've ever destroyed, but you know, who's going to blame me? Not you guys, right? Right? Uh, finally found the Burned Raz. Finally. Um, but now I don't have room. Dang. Okay. Oh, well, he's hitting for a whole bunch, so I'm guessing just another wall break will do. And there we have it. Killed level 7 at level 5. And only used almost all the darkness in the entire dungeon. Hooray for me. <clears throat> Let's see. If I'm going to recycle something, I don't really want it to be the end of this wall. Especially if I'm going to get some nice hits if off on uh, Frank the Zombie over there. Hmm. Considering my options. Going with Earth Mother is tempting because then you can get a whole bunch of magic and then just go completely caster on his face. Maybe. But it also means that I'm never going to be able to destroy plants again without getting completely acidified myself. So, thanks but no thanks. Alright, well, um, tough decisions, but I'm thinking Indus Wall makes the most sense to recycle. Get in there. Jeez. Also, um, there's something else I can do. Something much more else. I can grab this and shrink something. Uh, but what to shrink? The dragon shield. Yes, I'm going to be ha holding out a little teeny tiny shield now. I'm, I'm sure it'll still just be as effective. Okay, that works. Actually, it doesn't. I kind of wish I still had my endus wall now. Oh well, though. If I burn him twice, can I get in there for the final hits? 24 damage. 20, 20, 24. No. Last I checked, that does not add up to 81. Okay. I'm level 5. I can handle myself. I can... Probably level up catapult somebody. It's probably going to be this level 9. I mean, let's be honest, guys. So, let's just go ahead and burn him twice, and then... 
think about what we've done. I just need to kill like three level ones and I can level up on him. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Why am I always going faithless? Well, there's there's one more altar that I haven't found yet, so I, I can't really judge it yet, but it's starting to feel like this is another faithless run. And I don't want to use my death protection yet, so... Let's just go ahead and kill this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Okay, cool. And he's very close. Very, very close. I'm thinking what I'm going to need to do is probably drink this... Um, mouse died on me. Okay, there it goes. Drink it! And I can either burn him... That doesn't make as much sense, though. The burn will barely not do enough damage. Well, actually, might. 42? 42! Okay, as long as I burn him first, I think it'll work. And yet... Let's just, uh... Oh, right, I don't have to get in there yet. Now I do. Don't judge me. And then I can just finish him off this way. Okay, cool. I just wanted to use get in there, okay? You can't blame me for that. Okay, so we're going to go round and round and find a store. Hopefully something expensive I can steal. Well, if I grab that, that means I definitely don't want to go with Earth Mother because she hates lifesteal. Something I learned the hard way. Um... I don't have enough health to use the sidestep yet. Hang on. I can do this. Just grab that. Okay, cool. And I don't feel so bad about grabbing all this all at once. Hey, how you doing? Alright. Well, something I can do actually is probably use these meat men to my advantage. If I have a mid-level meat man, I can, you know, absorb health from him. And him. Yeah. As long as I'm stealing more health than they're taking. Actually, that's the important part. But that's not something I'm doing right now, so... I guess not. We'll think about it. Also, it really would help to be picking up these Wisp Gems, but dang it, I just don't have the inventory. Or I just don't feel like it. There we go. That's a better excuse. Let's go ahead and get by him. Endis Wall, where are you? Okay, let's go ahead and get cursed. I can take off curse. You give that health back, mister. Alright, I'm cursed, double cursed. Which is really bad, okay. Um, I'll tell you what. I want to use my magic in such a way that I can't use it on undead. Great. But I can burn him twice. Let's just go ahead and burn him twice then. That would do the trick. But that's not enough of a trick for me. Um, thinking about what I'm doing. Not very hard, but I'm thinking about it. Let's grab these two squares. Okay, cool. Am I outside of your kill radius? Almost. One more square. And yes, now he's outside of my kill radius. By one square. But I can grab one square too. And then just use get in there to finish him off. Or that, that too, that that works. I don't I don't even care anymore. Thanks. Okay. So thinking. Thinking. This one's actually pretty tough. Lots of things I can absorb over health off with the uh, vampiric blade. And I can get that for free too. I just have to feel like giving up a uh, glyph is all. I'm thinking about giving up the I feel sick. Makes sense to me. Alright, and that's right. You gotta steal it. And now to have just 25 conversion points. Yes, that's the cruel mistress of how stealing things work. Because you can't just take things and then get a whole bunch of conversion points, right? That's what they were trying to prevent, I, I guess. Okay. I guess I'll level up catapult this guy. Makes sense to me. I'll burn him. Okay. And then we'll kill that guy. Hooray. And then we'll burn him, get in there, finish him off. Good. Very good. 
Alright. Now, who else am I not killing in one hit? Well, he's doing more damage than I'm taking from him, so that's kind of a no. Uh... Who else? Who else is living through my attacks? Him, but he's doing a lot more damage than I, I can dish out. Him. Barely. And then I poison him, so, you know, that's... Actually, bad news, and I'm coming through here anyway, so let's just come on through anyway. I'm poisoned, guys. Alright. I love how little damage the Meat Man ends up doing to me. Okay. Well, before I go on, let's, uh, maybe fight that level 8 I was looking at. Or did I... Re no? There's one right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and prep this. Then grab a one square, some... Oh, who are we kidding? We, we're keeping all the one squares down here now, aren't we? And it's a two square, so I, I lied. Okay. Well, as long as I can burn them twice... And then... Oh, you... Dirty, dirty wraith. Okay. Well, let me consider my options again. I just need to do five more damage, right? Five more damage means... I'm thinking 15% more base damage, so as long as I can hold three of these things, that would do the trick. And not getting rid of the fine sword. Um, or, you know, grab this thing. Which I can't. I mean, I can, but I can't. You see where I'm going with this. So I can pick up two of them. I can also recycle the health potion. Because, you know, I love doing that. Dang it, why do you have to be such a jerk? Okay. I think I see where I'm going with this. I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of the Vim Dagger. But not yet. Let's get rid of the health potion. Yay. Now I can pick up three of these. This is not actually a very good idea to just do this on the whim of one fight, by the way. But hey, it's what I'm doing. So we did that. Especially since I didn't care get about getting mana burned in the first place. But I didn't want to lose my death protection either, so... That's where I was going with this. Oh, there's that level 8 I was thinking about. Okay. We're level 8. Maybe we should think about taking on one of the, zo one of the bosses? Maybe? Well, I need some way of getting his resistances off, and I don't see biceps anywhere. Uh, level 8. Not that I'm a huge fan of killing level 8s, but dang it, I want to get rid of them. So, there we go. And I didn't waste too much resources doing it either. Hooray. Alright, um, maybe another level 8? No. No, not today. Not today. Let's uh, kill this one and get by here. Good. I was hoping for a barbing bush, really. Okay. I still haven't found the third thing. I'll tell you what. Now I can just get by him really easy. Good. Good. I'm happy for me. Alright. Kinda sucks when you poison them, cause, you know, maybe you want them to heal back a little so you can steal the health again? Sounds like a good idea to me. I think an item I would love here is actually the piercing wand. Because then I could just, you know, burn him a whole bunch. And not even care. And... Hmm. I don't know, guys. And then we'll just heal. Oh, that leveled me. Okay. Well, I'm level 9. Fighters level fast, guys. It definitely makes more sense to kill him before killing him, though. Well, before we do that, let's try and do something. I can get a bunch of overhealth, actually, so that's that's a thing. Totally a thing. Oh, and the the altar was Jehora. I mean, not that that's a bad thing, but, you know, I only go with him if it's the very start of a dungeon. I don't do it at the end. Okay. Well, in a, in a, in a rush, we'll probably go with Earth Mother and Plantation Clearance a whole bunch. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Alright. Um... 
as for now. Could I take on the zombie if I really want to? Let's count the hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. And I can get two in before I have to use my death protection. <coughs> so that does, definitely doesn't seem like a thing to do at the moment. I wish I could trick him into attacking a barbing bush and then he'd just die. That would be perfect. But no, enemies don't attack each other, I guess. Um. Man. You know, Dimitri was right. This is a hard derp. I, that's why he said good luck. That's, that's why indeed he said good luck. Let's count how much XP we'd get. So, remember, we have learning or whatever it's called. So, really? Instincts? Yeah, here it is. Gain one EXP per kill. So just add one. So that's uh, 3 plus 4, 7, or 10, plus 8, plus 2, 20. Halfway to the level just with these guys. And then we have 6, so 26, 31, 35, 37. One more EXP. <clears throat> It'd have to be this guy. So let's make it this guy. He just became our problem. Excellent. And <clears throat> I would actually like the Pact Maker, and then I would just go with that one pack that got me resistances. That would have been perfect. But that's not the hand we were dealt, so we're going to do this way. Uh, let's heal up one square, which we can't get. So, oh, wait, yeah, we can. There we go. And then we'll just, you know, overhealth a bunch. Get a bunch of overhealth. Because I love overhealth. You can probably figure out how overhealth works. Um, why am I only taking four health from... Oh! No, I don't understand. Is there a limit to how much overhealth you can hold? That must be the case. It must be capped at 150%. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that's the case. So let's go ahead and smack him twice. Put our overhealth to good use, you know. And I'm thinking we want to burn him. I mean, it just comes naturally to me. And we'll just keep this up. One more EXP, and it's gonna come from this guy. Hang on. Uh, we're pretty far actually away from being able to take a hit from him. And it's not like I'm going to drink a potion to make that happen, so let's not make that happen. Actually, you know, going with Tarog would have made sense because then the uh, armor would have helped. Yeah, yeah, the armor would have helped. But it's a little late for that. Um, actually, you know what? I will grab two squares. Two squares are over down here. Past the vines, so never mind. Never all the mind. Okay. Um, that's a four. That's a three. I'm pretending not to see the steam overlay. You can pretend to. It helps. I'm just going to bite the bullet and take a three then. Thanks. Now the reason why I did that <clears throat> is to take an extra hit and also to burn him. So it worked out in the end for me. And then level up. Okay, good. <sighs> a lot more hits left to go, guys. Not looking very good for me, actually. I would not mind having Hopman, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. Do I have room? Because if I have room, I really might as well get stuff. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six hits. That's a lot of hits left. Especially if I don't plan on using health potions much. Okay. Let me consider my options again. I can recycle something. I actually kind of like the Vampiric Blade to lessen the damage he's going to do to me. The sidestep, maybe, is an important part of my strategy. Sidestep is pretty much 83 damage for 10 MP when you think about it. But let's not think about it. Okay. Oh, hey. You know what else? We can actually buy Whoopaz here. I should have done that. 
Oh well, though. Yeah, I, I don't care. Um, there's only one enemy left. And Frank is not poisoned, so I don't want to run around in the darkness and heal him up. That's not part of what I'm doing here. Well, part of what I am doing here is grabbing two squares. When in reality I'm grabbing like five or six. Hang on. Here's three. And then burn him again and then smack him again. And as long as I can get three more hits in, I'm good. I'm golden. But in order to do that, I need to recycle something. And it feels like it's going to be the Venom Dagger. I love the thing. But dang, do I need, I need my own space. And I recycled a health potion, so let's take that into consideration, huh? Okay. So we can smack him. And then smack him again, grab two squares. And then get in there. Yes. Okay, th this will barely work. If I can find two squares to grab. There's five. That's going to heal him a whole bunch. Not enough to get him outside of my kill radius, though. Right? Yes. Okay, I was right. Good. 25 gold. Maybe that'll help a ton. Maybe. Let's hope. I don't want to get poisoned, Mr. Mushroom. It's not part of my plan. Ah, uh, curse. That's fine. I'll just kill this guy to get rid of it. So there. Okay, be careful not to attack any of them vine thingies. There's seven seconds of pain. Oh, I just made a joke. Okay. So we have a ton of lizard man to kill. And I'm not sure how we're going to go about doing it. Especially since a lot of stuff is closed off. I'm thinking what we want to do is probably just burn him to heck and back. So let's pick up all our blue potions. And if there's, I don't know, a mage plate or something, I'll... Oh, that'll help. We'll probably end up buying that. I'll think about buying that. I would really like the piercing wand, actually, but I don't know if it'll even show up because it's in my, you know, don't show me this thing locker. So we'll see. Okay. Well, here's something I want to do. Uh, I want to recycle glyphs that I don't plan on using. I love sidestep, and I, you know, usually plan on using it, but not today. And then, well, this just brings me to a wall, and this just brings me to mana burn. So we're not doing that. I want to get, I want to get full MP so I can have three burns, please. Not there. Okay, I'm sorry, this is taking too long. Um, something else you can do with these is recycle, and they're actually pretty good for conversion points. There, I said it. Let's do that. If I plan on just burning him down. For the most part. Actually, I think I'll just pick up a whole bunch of these. Yeah, let's pick up as many as we can. Because, you know, we're going to be physically hitting him too, eventually. When the time comes. When the time is right. So we did that. Okay, we got a lot of attack now. Hooray. Let's, uh burn his face off and join Earth Mother as a last resort okay not too bad not too shabby if I may say so myself um, get in there I I think you're great and all but you know that that whole thing happened oh and uh, we're not done burning him just yet believe it or not Schadenfreude drink it smack an enemy get a whole bunch of magic back Boom. Thank you. And uh, that's not too bad. Okay, I think we can just pretty much win now. Good. My elf will be forever weakened, but, you know, he doesn't... She doesn't care. I, I can't tell from here. Naga Tail. Good. Because. Because I want to. Alright, I think that'll do it. Let's go ahead and exit. I'm probably like, I don't know, 35 on the leaderboard despite this challenge only being two and a half hours old. Right? Am I right? 35? 19? Okay, you know, I guess everyone else had some troubles with this one too. Hey, 
Let's see where Dimitri is. Dimitri. Oh, you would. You would beat me by two whole minutes and three whole seconds. And you'd gain a lot more piety while you're at it. I can see why you won. You actually went with an altar, unlike my silly self. All right. And you gained four more EXP. And you did a hundred more damage. That's that's good. That's good. I'm proud of you, Efosh. Dimitri. Sternum. I, I forgot. I forgot how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Because I'm faithless. So, there. All right. And that should get me my 750 bonus gold, right? Because I was just thinking about how this uh, daily derp thing is actually kind of a good source for gold. Because when you think about it, it's an extra 150 gold daily if you do every one. Well, I did it, but it didn't give me the gold yet. I guess it gives it to me tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, the weekend's coming up, guys. We can start doing other stuff. And I'll get to try out the Rat King for once because that's not been in the daily derp yet. I was kind of hoping it would be, but, well... Time makes fools of us all. Thanks for watching. This has been Captain Thief playing Desktop Dungeons Daily Derp for May 8th. Hope you had fun with it, because I kind of did. A little harder than I thought it would be. I'll see you next time.